this festival for many, many months now, and it's sometimes hard to uh, remember why you do it. And uh, when you actually put your fingers on the strings and play the music, it's, uh, yeah, it makes it all worth it. Yeah, this is great. So uh, thanks so much for joining us here at the inaugural Baltimore Old Time yeah. Music Festival. We really couldn't have asked for a better venue for this. How about a hand for all the folks here at the Creative Alliance? <laughs> folks have been asking me if I'm nervous or stressed out, but all that's in the past now. It's just now we get to have fun and play music and uh, celebrate this music and, and Baltimore and its place in all of this uh, and all the, the great things that have been happening here in this in the city the past few years with, with old time. and. Uh, a lot of that's thanks to all of you for coming out and supporting it. And uh, of course, just always a real treat to get to play with my father here. This is my dad, Ken Kolodner, on the Hammer Dulcimer. <laughs> We're joined here by my roommate of four years who just moved out a couple months ago. <laughs> He's free. This is Luke Chohani on the guitar and mandolin. from the great state of West Virginia, Rachel Eddy is going to sing you a song. I, I just want to say that uh, uh, Luke just came in uh, from Phoenix, and you came in from Indiana, Indianapolis. just, uh, just, just today. like today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I wouldn't miss it. Yeah, it was definitely a long journey to be here, but I didn't want to miss it because um, I have a feeling it will be happening for many years to come, and uh, it's really yeah. great. You guys are here for the, the very first one. I think it's going to be something that, well, you know, something about Ken and Brad. Um, in their way, they change the world in many, many different ways. And, and in this room, yeah, you do. Um, I've played in this, uh, this room with these guys before, and it's, it's always a different thing every time, and I think it's really special to be part of this. So it was worth the travel, and I'm going to sing a little bit of the Richmond Blues. <laughs>
Let's hear it for Rodney Sutton, everybody. Rodney came up from Asheville to be with us this weekend. He's calling the square dance tomorrow night, doing a, uh, yeah, so come on out for the square dance, which will be in here. We'll clear out a few of these chairs, <laughs> all of them, actually. And uh, he's going to be doing a flat-footing workshop before the dance and also uh, um, how to call workshops. So if you want to learn how to call some square dances, he'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon, and I believe there are plenty of spaces left in that. I, for one, still have not mustered up the courage to call a square dance. One of these days, I'm going to do it. All right. So uh, a number of years back, um, my father and I, when we started playing music together, we, we assumed that the banjo and fiddle would be sort of the, the classic pairing. But we quickly realized that the, uh, the percussive nature of the hammered dulcimer and the claw hammer style banjo um, just have a really interesting you know, combination there. And um, We'll go back to some of the roots here, and I'll play a, a music, uh, or play a, a, a tune that my, my father wrote. Um, that's the title track of our latest recording. It's called The Swift House, and it features uh, the gourd banjo here. Banjo originally comes from Africa, and uh, this is uh, an instrument that was actually built here in Baltimore by a great builder named Pete Ross, who lives just around the corner from me. And uh, yeah, Pete's a great, great builder. And, um, whoa. And uh, this instrument here kind of looks like a dish rack. It's a, it's a relatively new invention. It's really the combination of the hammered dulcimer and the imbira, or the thumb piano, that you see out of West Africa. And it's a really uh, interesting sound. It uh, doesn't require any tuning. It doesn't have any strings. So that's a big plus. I've had it maybe nine years now, and I've never tuned it. <laughs> it doesn't sound very good, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Swift House. Thank you. 
right, we'll do a fiddle and banjo number here. Rachel and I met at the great old time festival in West Virginia, Clifftop. Any Clifftop uh, attendees out there? Yeah. A great uniter of this music. Um, I don't know, we probably met at one of those uh, 4 a.m. jams. I think it started. Didn't even get each other's name, just yeah. played tunes. And... Well, I do remember, actually, I, I wondered who you were for a while. It was like a year before I, I found you again, probably back at Clifftop. I knew who you were. I was very intimidated. No, you were like I... a celebrity at Clifftop. <laughs> so ridiculous. I still am intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to hug it out right yeah. here, right now? <laughs> As we yeah. say, that's close enough for yeah, old times. We're good, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of Cousin Sally Brown. how you hug it out. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll take a little break, and then we'll be back with uh, Corn Potato String Band and Molsky's Mountain Drifters. We'll probably get everybody up here to do one of those mega jams. That'll go on for way too long. It's going to be great. And then there's jamming afterwards if you want to stick Oh, yeah, we'll hang out, in the, hang out in the lobby. Yep. I hope you all will, will join us again tomorrow for all, the whole slate of great things that are happening from the workshops and concerts and jams and, of course, the big square dance. It's all just one big experiment, and most of it will probably go well, but some things may not go well. 
If you have any issues, you can take them up with my father, Ken, over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's one off of uh, the latest recording I did with my other group called Charm City Junction, based here in Charm City in Baltimore. And uh, I don't think Sean McComiskey's in the building, is he? No, okay. Yeah, he was maybe going to make it. But anyway, um, I played another band here called Charm City Junction that's sort of a bluegrass, old-time, and Irish crossover group. And we recorded this, this tune that we're going to take a hack at called Hop High, My Lulu Gal.
Thank you very much.